Okay, so here I am putting this video together for you guys to enjoy its precious content and its purity and its and its just relevance and its other big words that I can't think of right now. And I realized that I did not shout out the brand. I can't be doing stuff like that. Go ahead, head over to www.displacedbydesign.com. Check out our latest and newest arrivals. Check out the Displaced by Design and Champion Licensed Crew Neck and t-shirt check out the hats check out the pink sands tee your essential black and white t-shirt and even your multi-colored shirt again that's www.displacedbydesign.com now enjoy the video what's up it's your mother's favorite william and i'm back with another video all right so i wanted to upload this really quick video and address some of you guys' questions that i noticed are, are being frequently asked down in the comments of the previous Foot Locker videos, and even in some of the finish line videos. Now, I don't know how much of you that support the finish line videos are starting to trickle over to these Foot Locker videos, but I figured, hey, I will address you all in one video. Yes, I am wearing a Foot Locker shirt. Yes, I work for Foot Locker House of Hoops part-time now, but it's all the same. The retail game is all the same. So here are some quick tips for the post-interview phase after you've interviewed for the job. All right, so tip number one, again, it's going to be follow up. Well, I'm actually going to start making some videos, I work a full-time job in sales as a sales rep. So I've interviewed for many corporate America jobs until finding some of the right ones or some of the right ones finding and being a good fit for me. I found my lane and I'm just going to start, you know, giving the best tips and pointers that I've seen have helped me thus far since you guys are listening, right? So it's going to be to follow up. You're going to want to make sure you call the store. If the store is not answering, which this is the first time I've actually, um, been asked this question in the comments, you know, the store isn't answering, what should I do? You know, should you go up to the store? I don't think that would hurt any. I really personally don't think it would hurt going up to the store. Now in uh, some of my uh, corporate interviews, I would end it with a little bit of satire and, and humor. You know, they'd, they'd ask me if there's any questions I have for them. I'd say, yeah, when do I start? You know, and we'd chuckle. <laughs> It'd be a good belly laugh, a quick little belly laugh, but that's not necessarily going to work in the retail uh, aspect or the retail realm, right? So what you want to do is if you do pop up to the store, you know, you just go up there and express your thanks. I mean, hey, maybe take a car, do something crazy to set yourself apart. You're not really going to bother them. It's, it's, if anything, it's just going to be like, this, this guy, this girl is serious. We should hire them. We know they're not going to flake on this, on this opportunity, right? All right. And then tip number two, try your best to be patient with the managers. If they've interviewed a group of people, it is going to take them a while to make that decision. Six times out of 10, they know then and there right on the spot who they're going to hire. If you interview on a Monday and they say you'll hear something by Friday, I'd call them Tuesday to thank them, follow up. Then I'd wait a couple days. And by Thursday, I'd call them one more time just to follow up. What are the next steps in this process, in the hiring process, or what could I be doing to help my candidacy it's something that i did to get my my sales job it's something that i did in a many of jobs that i've in many of corporate jobs that i've interviewed for that kind of set my candidacy apart again you know you're going to want to make sure that you follow up then you're going to want to be patient and the last final tip that i can really give you to almost guarantee that you get the job when you talk to the hiring manager or to any manager be sincere and be honest, really show that you're passionate about the job. A lot of people have lost their jobs due to the, to the pandemic or, you know, they got let go or they didn't get brought back or, you know, they're finally, they're like, I need a job, right? So as long as you show you're sincere about it, because it almost is like a mad dash to get bodies back in stores. You really gotta be mindful of that but they're gonna bring you on if you're if you're genuine if you're if you're being honest and upfront with them. It's almost hard to say no to this to this person that's interviewing for a part time job that has open availability. You know they followed up that set themselves apart. Hopefully these tips work. If they don't, I mean keep hitting me up with questions. I'll address them all. These are just some of the things that have worked for me and that you know while my time managing at Finish Line, I've noticed. Uh, set a couple of the interviewees apart. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, drop down in the comments, continue to subscribe, continue to like the videos. I ain't got nothing else for y'all. It's a quick video. Peace.